Hey there, it's Dawn coming to you from sunny Chiang Mai, Thailand. Actually, sunny most of the time. It's not sunny this morning. So good morning on this bright, beautiful Sunday morning. I am here again to, to offer a little tidbit for anyone who happens to want to listen. So I thought I would do something a little different this morning rather than tune in, close my eyes, tune in and, and um, dive into the pool of information that's available to me. I, uh, I did that already this morning and pulled a tarot card and I thought I would use that as the theme because it was a beautiful message. So I'm going to show you the card first and the card you can see here. This is from the Osho Zen deck, and it's the seven of rainbows, which would be the seven of earth. And the key word, it's a, it's a pregnant woman with beautiful, all the moon phases and the beautiful rainbow colors around her. And the key word is patience, patience. So we're, um, we're going to talk a little bit about patience, and please, if you... If you have anything to share about your experience with patience or impatience uh, or what that's uh, bringing up for you in your life right now, I'd love to continue that conversation um, via, you know, thread, the messages in the thread below the video. So, patience. When a woman is expecting a child... There's a period of waiting that happens. But in that waiting, a lot is going on. A lot is going on. One of the things that's going on, of course, is that whatever, in this case, the child in the mother's womb is growing. Uh, and uh, the other thing that's going on is the mother is beginning to prepare or the family is beginning to prepare to bring something new into their family, into their home life, which means uh, making changes perhaps to diet or health or activities or routine, um, perhaps purchasing some, some things necessary for the new child. So when we, are, when we are awaiting the birth of something new, whether it's an actual child or a project, uh, a vision that we want to give birth to, a business that we want to launch, <laughs> uh, give birth to, an idea, uh, a pro uh, an experience, uh, an adventure, all of that. There's a period of patience that's required before uh, the birth can take place. So my question for you, hello, my dear beloved, who has been a great teacher of mine with patience. Uh, I see you just joined. Thank you. Uh, so patience. Patience is the card. And for those of you who are just joining now, I'll show you this again. So uh, the theme of this particular uh, Facebook Live is patience, the seven of earth in uh, the tarot. And the archetype is about the gestation period and what's required of us when something is not yet ready to be brought forth, to be manifest. And so uh, there's, there's the self-care that has to happen. There's the tuning in or turning in, which has to happen in order to do the preparation, whatever the preparation is. And then there is literally just the patience that's required. So my invitation to you is to tune into where does this message apply in your life? Because if you're seeing this, perhaps there's a, a, a note for you, um, a, a gift, a little a seed of something for you. Where in your life would patience serve you best right now? And if, in fact, you are nurturing new life, either because you're actually uh, expecting a child in your family or because you are uh, creating a new project, uh, a new business, a new goal, a new piece of art or work, where is patience the invitation right now rather than um, more action? And this is particularly timely between the 
calendar new year in the Western world and the Chinese new year, which happens on the, on the 16th of February, because often new year indicates new action. You know, there's new year's resolutions and all of that and taking action and action is important, but action that is generated from mind from, Oh, I got to do this because logic, all that stuff is sometimes, um, not what's called for that actually what's called for is to first be patient and wait for the divine inspiration, the guidance, the, the spark where, you know, now is the time to act. I don't have everything prepared yet for action. So action would be equated with the giving birth, let's say of the new, whatever it is. So again, what, where in your life would you be, would patience serve you best? Where in your life could you um, put on the brakes for a moment and just go inward, turn inward and breathe and take a breath and pause and be patient before the next right step reveals itself. So I wish you bright blessings on this beautiful day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, much love. Mwah.